So a man getting attacked by a bear made it alive thanks to his grandma. Hey guys, welcome back. Thanks again for joining. Today I have a really interesting story for you. Um, this happened in Great Falls, Montana, and it's about a bow hunter who's currently recovering after he survived a grizzly bear mauling by shoving his entire arm down the animal's throat. Oh my God, I can't even imagine. I can't imagine. Um, so Chase Duello, Delwo, Delwu, 26, was hunting with his brother northwest of town um, on Saturday when he came face to face with a 350 to 400 pound bear. He was only three feet from the bear when he noticed it. He said the grizzly bear um, had been sleeping and didn't see him coming, possibly because of the snow, the rain, and it was they had 30 to 40 mile per hour winds. Um, so Chase said that um, he had time only to take a few steps back when the bear woke up and noticed him. But by then, the bear knocked him down, bit into his head, swung him around, threw him, then came back after him. Um, the bear chases the bear then um, bit um, Chase's leg and shook him, tossing him in the air a second time. As the bear came at him, came at Chase for the third time, um, Chase recalled a story he read in a magazine. And Chase said, uh, quote, I remember an article that my grandmother gave me a long time ago that said large animals have bad gag reflexes. Um, he said, so I shoved my right arm down his throat. What? Um, so the advice worked and the bear left. And again, this is all allegedly no one else was there. I don't, there's no video footage of him sticking in his arm down the bear's throat. Um, and the bear running away, but luckily he's alive. Assuming that this is true, this is absolutely amazing. Um, so Chase then rejoined, however he got to his brother is absolutely amazing. He rejoined his brother who drove him to the hospital um, and he's received stitches stapled in his head and some on his face. Um, he has a swollen eye and deep puncture wound on his leg. I mean, I feel like he's coming out brand new. This is amazing. I mean, the fact that he's survived a bear attack by sticking his arm through and he only has a couple of stitches and some swelling um, in his eye. And yeah, it's painful, it sucks, but that's amazing. Um, so, oh yeah, so Chase is probably the most reasonable person in the planet. Um, he goes on to say, I want everyone to know that it wasn't the bear's fault. Chase said he was as scared as I was. Well, I don't know if I'd feel the same way. Good for you, Chase. Animals' rights, and I love it. Good for you. Uh, you do know that you walked up on the bear. You guys didn't notice each other. The fact that you're alive, thank God. Um, and I do like the ending of the story, that the fact that he didn't go back and kill it. it makes me a little happier, even though he was there for hunting. Um, so I did look this up because I've never once heard of shoving your arm down a bear's throat to get away from, or any animal's throat to get away from um, an attack or anything. So I looked um, up through the Wilderness Medicine Newsletter, and the article I was reading was for the recognition, treatment, and prevention of wilderness emergencies, specifically on the grizzly bears. They gave four distinct things to do if you are getting um, attacked by a bear. Number one. Stand your ground or move, or move slowly away while trying to intimidate the bear by shouting, yelling, banging pots together, etc. That's number one. So stand your ground, shout, yell, scream, seem like a crazy person. Hopefully the bear will run away. Number two, the exact opposite. Stand your ground or move slowly away but remain quiet and attempt um, to be non-threatening. So the first one, you want to be as crazy as possible, then try to be as not non-threatening as possible. I don't know. I don't know what I would do. Um, I'm, I'm liking number one as of right now the best. But anyways, going on, number three, immediately drop the, to the ground and play dead, rolling up into a ball to protect vital organs, hands and arms, cradling head and neck. This is the one I've heard the most, and not just for bears. I've heard this for all animals, tigers, lions, all these big crazy animals that would rip you apart. Just curl up in a ball and hope for the best, covering your, you know, the organs that you need, head and neck, good stuff. And then lastly, they just say, turn and run. So pick your choice, but I have not seen and I have not heard of anywhere in the 
in my life, in my experience, that shoving your hand down a bear's throat, the fact that he's that Chase is alive today with only some stitches and some swelling is a gift from God. But um, yeah, tell me what you guys think. If you want, tell me an interesting story of you guys surviving an attack with if it's from a rat or a snake or even a cockroach spider, whatever. I'd love to hear your stories. Let me know in the comments below. Subscribe, like, talk to you guys later. Deuces.